Misanthropy, Wikipedia article audio Misanthropy is the general hatred, dislike, distrust, or contempt of the human species or human nature. A misanthrope or misanthropist is someone who holds such views or feelings. The word's origin is from the Greek words mu sigma omicron and nu theta rho omega pi omicron. The condition is often confused with a sociality. Western Culture Arts Philosophy Persian Thought Characteristics Gustave Flaubert once declared that he would die of suppressed rage at the folly of fellow men. Misanthropy has also been ascribed to a number of writers of satire such as William S. Gilbert and William Shakespeare. Jonathan Swift is widely believed to have been misanthropic. Neil deGrasse Tyson listed Gulliver's Travels as one of the eight books all intelligent people should read once, in order to learn that most of the time humans are yahoos. Poet Philip Larkin has been described as a misanthrope. Moliere's play The Misanthrope is one of the more famous French plays on this topic. Less famous, but more contemporary is the 1970 play by Françoise Doran, Un Sale Egoist which takes the point of view of the misanthrope and entices the viewer to understand his motives. Michelangelo has been called a misanthrope. Don Van Vliet has been described as a misanthrope with close friend Christine McKenna stating that he thought human beings were the worst species that was ever dreamed up. Morrissey, considered one of the finest British songwriters in popular music history, has been dubbed pop's most famous misanthrope. Fernando Pessoa's factless autobiography The Book of Disquiet has been described as misanthropic. The pre-Socratic philosopher Heraclitus was by various accounts a misanthrope and a loner who had little patience for human society. In a fragment, the philosopher complained that people forever without understanding of what was in his view the nature of reality. In Western philosophy, misanthropy has been connected to isolation from human society. In Plato's Phaedo, Socrates describes a misanthrope in relation to his fellow man, misanthropy develops when without art one puts complete trust in somebody thinking the man absolutely true and sound and reliable and then a little later discovers him to be bad and unreliable, and when it happens to someone often, he ends up, hating everyone. Misanthropy, then is presented as a potential result of thwarted expectations or even excessively naive optimism, since Plato argues that art would have allowed the potential misanthrope to recognize that the majority of men are to be found in between good and evil. Aristotle follows a more ontological route, the misanthrope, as an essentially solitary man, is not a man at all, he must be a beast or a god a view reflected in the Renaissance view of misanthropy as a beast-like state. There is a difference between philosophical pessimism and misanthropy. Immanuel Kant said that of the crooked timber of humanity, no straight thing can ever be made, and yet this was not an expression of the uselessness of mankind itself. Kant further stated that hatred of mankind can take two distinctive forms aversion from men and enmity towards them. The condition can arise partly from dislike and partly from ill will. Martin Heidegger has also been said to show misanthropy in his concern of the they the tendency of people to conform to one view, which no one has really thought through, but is just followed because, they say so. This might be thought of as more a criticism of conformity than of people in general. Unlike Schopenhauer, Heidegger was opposed to any systematic ethics, however, in some of his later thought he does see the possibility of harmony between people, as part of the fourfold, mortals, gods, 
earth and sky. Certain thinkers such as Ibn al-Rawandi, a skeptic of Islam, and Muhammad Ibn Zakaria A.R. Razi often expressed misanthropic views. In the Judeo-Islamic philosophies, the Jewish philosopher Sa'adi Ajayan uses the Platonic idea that the self-isolated man is dehumanized by friendlessness to argue against the misanthropy of Anchorite asceticism and reclusiveness. Misanthropy is more pronounced among people from specific professions especially among content moderators. This outlook often derives from the serious psychological toll of reviewing violent, sexually abusive, and disturbing content for a living. In Nautilus, Leonard Mlodinow writes of Isaac Newton, it would be nice to be able to say that this giant of intellect was an empathetic, agreeable man, but if he had any such tendencies he did a good job suppressing them and coming off as an arrogant misanthrope.